Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is overhyped AMD vulnerabilities. Today, an organization called CTS Labs claimed to know of 13 very critical vulnerabilities affecting AMD processors. In fact, they have released a very marketing-like page for it called amdflaws.com. Now, the problem is we have very little technical information about these flaws. According to this page, these researchers have found 13 flaws affecting the Ryzen and Epic AMD processors. They put these 13 flaws into four different classes, which they call Master Key, Ryzen Fall, Chimera, and Fallout. Now, without all the technical details, it's hard to go into any real discussion about these flaws. However, according to these researchers who have really posted a lot of hyperbole about these vulnerabilities, they're very serious. According to these researchers, flaws like the Chimera flaws are a full backdoor to your processor. A lot of these flaws, according to the researchers, allow local attackers to kind of hijack the security processor of a chip, which is supposed to be a very hardened secure enclave which which people can't really get into but according to these researchers there's flaws that give attackers access to that security processor now one third party researcher has apparently been given the details about these flaws including exploits and does say they work although he doesn't comment on how overstated they are. Uh, but he does mention that they do require local access to the computer with administrative credentials or privileges. So you already have to own the computer and have administrative privileges to leverage these flaws. But once you do, uh, it's a great way to evade any security controls on the system. For instance, according to these researchers, you might actually be able to load malware into the processor itself, which could survive many reboots would be very difficult for any sort of endpoint security control to find or clean up. So according to these researchers, they're very serious vulnerabilities. However, there's a lot of controversy and skepticism around this particular release as well. First of all, they only gave Microsoft and AMD 24 hours before releasing this web page publicly. So they really didn't responsibly disclose this. That's what most security pundits seem to agree with. And by the way, I agree. It's very bad practice to release what they're claiming are such serious flaws and then just publicly disclosing them within 24 hours. But the second issue, and this could be to their credit, but it also is kind of suspicious, since they did disclose this 24 hours after letting AMD know, they have not released any technical details about these flaws. On one hand, that's a good thing. If these flaws are as serious as they claim, we don't want the technical details out there. On the other hand, it makes it impossible for anyone else in the industry who hasn't seen those details to validate how big a deal these flaws really are. And according to uh, the researchers behind this post, they're not going to publicly release the technical details ever. Uh, which is also kind of suspicious. You know, eventually even responsible disclosures do full disclosure and release technical details. Now, besides just the stupid and horrible bad practice of disclosing flaws 24 hours after letting a vendor know, which is pretty bad, uh, apparently these researchers may also have financial interests in the securities associated with these products. Long story short, they may have invested in maybe shorting AMD stock. So they may have financial interests in these flaws affecting things like stock prices, which is something they disclaim within some of their posts. That itself is kind of a horrible practice in my opinion. On top of that, there's already been third party sites who are already kind of uh, illegitimate sites in my opinion that have released long diatribes on how these vulnerabilities are such a big deal that they will kill AMD as a company which to me suggests that they're actually trying to affect stock price more than really disclose serious vulnerabilities. All that said, they have released a ton of materials around this, very serious videos talking about the potential impact of the flaw, at least enough detail to suggest that they know a little bit of what they're talking about. And finally, that third party researcher uh, from a company known as Trail of Bits has validated that he's seen these exploits and they technically do work. So there is a chance that these are real flaws. The question is how big a deal are they really? 
In any case, this is a very interesting story. It is a big enough issue that I recommend you check out that site and maybe even the video playing in the background to hear a little bit more about this. But my practical advice is do not panic yet if you're an AMD user. I wouldn't go out and worry too much about these flaws yet. Until third parties technically validate how big a deal they really are, you shouldn't worry about them yet. Also, AMD is aware of this. They've actually posted on their page a very short response. And by the way, their response throws a little shade at these researchers as well, mentioning it's kind of unusual for researchers to publicly disclose to the press 24 hours later. But nonetheless, AMD is on it. So long story short, in the future, when we see an update on this, we'll be sure to inform you of how big these flaws really are. So that's it for today's InfoSec drama. By the way, today is actually both Microsoft and Adobe patch day, which is normally what I do my video on. But because this is such a big security uh, industry drama, I figured I'd talk about this. So look for that patch update tomorrow. That said, if you want a head start and you use Adobe and Microsoft products, be sure to go and check out the available patches or use auto update. And again, for this issue, We'll keep an eye on it, don't panic yet, and pay attention to AMD's page for their response in the future. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.